How much do you want on earth? How many millions do you want to make on earth? You've already made so much. Do you really need it? The answer is no, you don't need it. It's just extra and excess. I like to ask the children and I've asked them, how much money do you want to make in your life? Now in Zimbabwe, the figure has spiraled because obviously the zeros mean nothing anymore. But before, when money was money, they would say, I just want to make a million, then I can retire. I promise you, some of the adults will tell you, we made the first million, we went for the next one. We went the next one, we went for the 10. We, went, we made the 10, we wanted to go and go and go, and it does not stop. And how much are you going to use on earth? I promise you, not more than a few dollars. That's it. After that, your children, your family members will fight over that money when you're gone. Your brothers, brothers, stop speaking to each other only because of money, nothing else. Throw the money away and have your mahabba, have your love. It's better for you. May Allah grant us goodness. Throw your money away. You don't need it. Love is more important. Your relationship with your brother is far more important than that money. But you don't realize. If I were to ask you, put a value, put a price tag upon the money. Sorry, upon the relationship you have. You cannot. You want happiness. How much are you going to pay for happiness? I want to give you another example. People fear. What did I say earlier? Fear and sadness. Right? That's the topic today. Fear and sadness. How? In the Jannah, it's not going to be there. On earth, it is there. But if you have a relation with Allah, Allah minimizes it to a bare minimum. لا خوف عليهم ولا هم يحزنون. Good relationship with Allah. Why should I fear? I lay my trust in Allah. So you have, subhanallah, a person, what would he pay for one heartbeat? One heartbeat. When your heart starts pumping a bit too fast or a bit too slow, what do you do? Spend money to go where? Doctor, specialist, fly off to somewhere, university, in wherever. You fly off here, medical, this, that. If you've got a lot of money, you'll end up in the top hospital in the world. You know why? You don't want that heart to stop for one beat. Allahu Akbar. And you spent 100 million. Why? One heartbeat. Agree? Allah tells you, lay your trust in me. It's okay. You'll be calm, cool. You do your salah. Imagine you're so excited because Allah gave you the chance to put your head on the ground for him. Did you know Allah chooses who he wills to put their heads on the ground for him? It's not easy. Yes, you make an effort, but Allah either accepts that effort or rejects it. So many people live right next door to the masjid. You'll never see them there. And so many people live far away, they'll drive all the way there, subhanallah. So many people live in Mecca, they haven't seen the haram inside. They've never been for hajj. And there are others who live in Indonesia, and they are gone for hajj every so often. Or at least their dream is one day we're going to go there. That's Allah. Allah accepts and rejects.